there, I'm Mr. Papple, and I'm going to show and tell about the horn, which is sometimes called the French horn, because it was discovered about 330 years ago in France by a German prince. The horn was first used as an outdoor signaling instrument as part of royal hunting parties to play loud fanfares and signals that could be heard far away. <laughs> You can see that the tubing of the horn, which is hollow, is wrapped around many times into a coil to make it easier to carry. If the tubing was unwrapped, the horn would be over 12 feet long. The larger flared end of the horn is called the bell. When horn players started playing inside with other musical instruments in palaces and cathedrals, a way was needed to make it sound soften and blend better with the other instruments. Horn builders made the bell bigger and horn players lowered the bell and placed their hand inside the bell. By moving their hand inside the bell, horn players were able to play some extra notes that they couldn't play with their bells up in the air. <laughs> hundreds valves were added to the French horn which allows the horn player to play a very wide range of notes from very low to notes in the middle to notes that are very high. We can even change our bells by taking off the end and using a different bell. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> 